I'm studying uh, the change of uh, media environment when uh, people are becoming more uh, engaged with the media and because of the communication tools that they have nowadays and they're more uh, taking part of the media creation and uh, they're uh, like practitioners and not the, the audiences and uh, consumers anymore. But in uh, more detail, I'm uh, um, actually interested of the strategies, how uh, media companies, uh, audiovisual archives and public broadcasters are trying to build a new relationship with these um, audiences and uh, practitioners and how they can make them more involved in the creation of media and give more than just access to the media, but also how to give more uh, rich experiences and how to engage with their online collections. Me and my colleague Kati Hyppe, we gave a presentation about the challenges and practices related to remixing existing audiovisual archives. And it was connected to an ongoing project that we are involved with, uh, EU Screen, that aims to uh, give uh, access to European television content online. And we have started in Helsinki this initiative called Remix Helsinki, where we aim to facilitate and support uh, remix practices and remixes and so forth, uh, giving uh, uh, organizing workshops and uh, giving best practices and uh, understanding the practice of remixing and creating audiovisual mashups. The first pilot workshop we organized in November last year, and uh, I think it was a really good ex uh, well success for us because it was a pilot, so we got. Um, I think 10, 11 participants, and they were young people, and most of them didn't have at all experience of uh, editing or remixing. So it was really nice to also grasp the uh, young people and uh, how they can use remix as a tool to uh, express their feelings or communicate their political views or just uh, aesthetics, aspirations, and so forth. So we thought it was a really nice experience. This EU Screen project is um, ongoing project and uh, it's uh, going we're going to launch this portal for uh, content uh, television content quite soon actually this month so it's going to be quite interesting to see how the wider public will um, uh, will um, engage with the content and we have uh, four special target groups we are uh, targeting the content and the uh, tools the interactive tools for researchers uh, educators and uh, for like creative industries but also we are um, actually trying to understand how we can also provide not new kinds of tools for open cultural productions and uh, that is also that we are having uh, more uh, workshops and pilots and experiments on, on that area for during these two years or coming two years.